Don't go to the inside. A bit like Rodis did there with Keith. Woo hoo hoo. Rodis sees a gap and he goes for it. And on the while, Vince is past Jamo. He's alongside Jamo. Jamo's going back through on the inside. Vince is on the outside. Still in the video now. Got, oh, made a mistake. Whoa. Back end kicks out like hell. Video looking back to get back under the back. And Sarek comes out the pitch. Watch out, Sarek. Woo oh, hoo hoo. Three wide decides to get up to speed and sees all these go through. Vince has got the trap from Keith as well. But back to the leader side by side for Rodders in seat and down towards the last corner. Here we go. LPB Mixed Surface Series Round 1 Race 2 from Colorado Springs. Hi everyone and welcome back to LPB Racing for race two here of round one of the LPB Mixed Surface Series on GT Sport. So here we go, ready for race two here. We've got weight on the cars now. It's the finishing order of race one is the grid. So we'll take you through that now. So it's Bidster on pole position. He's on maximum weight now. So the weight has returned to the top five places, not the top four like it was in the group C. So it returns to the top five. So it's 200 kilos for Bidster in first and Neil is second he's on 160 kilos then it's Rodders in third he's on 120 kilos it's Keith fourth he's on 80 kilos and then it's Red Bull in fifth on 40 kilos and then weight three we have Intrepid in sixth seat one in seventh then we've got uh, Will in eighth and T.Y. in ninth at the back no weight for him so we'll go to the start of this race then here we go ready for the off here at Colorado Springs and just waiting for those lights to go out. So Bidstone on pole, remember he's heavy now, so let's see if the weight makes a difference on the dirt here at Colorado Springs in the Subaru 22B. Here we go, lights out, away we go, and it's a good start by everyone. And Rodders gets a good one, good launch as well. Red Bull a bit for a bit slower off the line. Keith gets, a, gets him around the outside, in towards turn one, then we go. And it's Bidster just in the lead, Keith is fourth. We've got Rodders going wide on the outside, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. He might be able to get the inside line for the next corner on Neil Farmack, and he does his alongside side him side by side the two cars side by side as we go down to the next corner further back we've got Intrepid there in sixth but still side by side is Rodders and Neil and Rodders takes the position and Neil, oh, Neil fights back have that sunshine Rodders <laughs> gets uh, oh, Neil fights back that hard he goes straight into the lead oh amazing move there by Neil Farmack keeps under attack now from Intrepid and oh we've got a spinner Will Spud he's been hit I think that's Red Bull's hit him Will and Red Bull make contact and they take each other off seat one back in seventh now T.Y. up to 6th, and uh, it's all the, the same at the front, Neil Farmack leading the way, Bids the 2nd, Rod is 3rd, Keith right behind him in 4th with Intrepid in 5th, but the lead is over the jump and Bids gets a good run up the hill, Bids alongside in the B, in the uh, BB racing car, Neil Farmack in the Seek and Destroy motorsport car, in the on the inside is Bids and he's over the jump, oh a bit hot in there, and he just recovers it, Neil, and other cars go wide as well, Rod is well out of control there, and he's got the car going, but uh, that was uh, rather ragged there from Rodders. but Intrepid goes a bit wide there, that's going to help T.Y. out, if he gets stuck on the inside, as the old Constantine it together, seat one, loses out, gets wedged on the inside I think, and the others go through, so T.Y. up to fifth, so ninth to fifth in one lap for T.Y. What can he do about the rest of the field? Meanwhile, Bidster and Neil still fighting it out in the, in the lead. As Bidster cuts back to the inside. And almost contact with Neil Farmack. Holds on as they go through the corner and out the other side. And Neil Farmack goes through. And we've got T.Y. and Keith and Rodders all fighting back. Uh, further back as Rod is now in third. Keith fourth. Good, good consistent fourth for Keith in this one on the inside. Takes rather an inside line into that corner, probably just prefers the line. And Rod, it's a good line because get, he gets alongside Rodders and he's trying to get alongside Rodders. Intrepid's coming up to the back of him now as well. Intrepid in his first me me race meeting here in uh, in uh, GT Sport. He's, re he's a regular Project Cars 2 racer, but now he's on GT Sport for a season as well. He's doing both and it's good to see him here with us as well. Another car to add to the collection as Rodders goes wide there. And uh, now Intrepid's going to go wide and T.Y. He might be able to send a way through, but he can't. Seat one closed up to the back as well, no way through. T.Y. over the jump, wildly over the jump there, there's seat one. They've got Red Bull and Will at the back, so Will obviously thinking it was his fault. We'll get a replay on that later on as we get to the halfway point. As oh, Over the jump, Neil Farmack showing bids to how it's done here. Leading him by quite a margin as we go into the uh, little 
Left, right, left, right section. You see bids to dab in the brake there as he changes into the corner, just uh, altering the weight distribution of the car into the corner. Good little rally technique there. The, the Rod is doing more of a Scandinavian flip, but it does work as you go into the corner. And Keith is now got Intrepid behind him. TY in sixth place with Intrepid in front. Across the line. The dust flying everywhere here at Colorado Springs. And it looks like Keith's having a go at Rod is here. He's quite close behind him. Up over the top of the hill, Rodders goes a bit wide, Keith will close up a little bit, but no way through. Bids to meanwhile is right on the back of Neil Farmack, he's having a go for the lead, oh, wild over the over the jump there. Proper Colin McRae style, as you go over the top and Neil Farmack goes wide, bids to on the inside then. As you go down to the next corner, side by side, we've got Rodders going wide in the background, but the two leaders side by side into the right-hander. Bids to slides the car on the inside to make sure that he keeps to the inside line. And Bids to gets first place from Neil Farmack. Rodders then it still holds on to third, key fourth, and then we've got Intrepid in fifth, TY sixth, and we've got Red Bull and Seek. Red Bull's now past seat one, the one Belgian passes another, and there are different teams as well. Seek, part of Seek and Destroy Motorsport, Red Bull, part of... Chippendale racing with Rodders as oh, they go, he goes wide C1 gets alongside him but goes wide again Red Bull will have the inside for the jump but over the jump it's going to be C1 who holds on meanwhile the lead is Neil Farmack and oh, Neil Farmack goes wide Bidster goes through to the lead of the race only just misses the tyre wall Neil Farmack throwing it away there and Bidster takes the lead Rodders then with a mistake as well this could be Keith's chance to take, to take third place he's right behind him now right behind switching directions through the left right section into the last corner of the right will Keith go on the inside and have a look he's having a little look but no Rodders slides the car sideways closes the door uses the length of the car to defend and Intrepid then in 5th TY 6th then we've got Seek and Red Bull are actually catching these two so Intrepid's doing a good job of holding off TY but unfortunately that means Keith and the others are getting away oh, Keith and the others are getting away as Intrepid makes a little mistake there Seek 1 having to oh he's just avoids TY and now Red Bull taking advantage alongside him. Brilliant race in this. Up and over the top. Red Bull then to the inside. He's trying to pass TY as well and Intrepid as well. Oh my word. This man's insane. Sideways under braking. Opposite lock. Oh, this is incredible. What this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a wild season, this is. T1 gets past TY. TY down to eighth place. Not having a good race here, TY. Not really enjoying these cars as much as you thought you would. Neil Farmack is trying to get on to Bidster. Bidster is in the lead. Neil Farmack trying to close up on the inside there, but Bidster takes a wider line to cut back for the jump. And Neil Farmack loses time there and goes into the wall. So uh, could probably learn off Bidster's line there. Rodders and Keith side together, but Intrepid's holding up all this all this lot behind and Keith's getting away. Red Bull goes wide there over the jump. That could help seat one close up. And we've got TY and Will on this as well. TY and Will at the back in the two Rebellion racing car, uh, Rebellion motorsport racing cars. Actually, absolutely going for it. As, oh, car off. Shane's gone into the wall. Intrepid, sorry, Intrepid's gone into the wall. I've just released his name. Oops. Intrepid goes in to the wall. And seat one goes through. Red Bull goes through as well. So they've been... Ah, oh, Red Bull into the wall on the inside. Everyone else reacts. And Will just gets through with, by the skin of his teeth. But Red Bull, one mistake, straight to the back of the field. Uh, but if Will goes wide like that, he'll be at the back of the field if he's not careful. Red Bull on the inside of him then. Up the hill, Red Bull on the inside. A little bit of a... little bit of an elbow there to Will but he gets through good move there side by side into the first corner Red Bull have the inside and he should hold on to the place as Will goes wide Rodders in third meanwhile to the front we've got Bidster and Neil Farmack Bidster fastest lap of the race 132.4 and now we'll just take a little break and we'll get you the, the replays of the first half here's the replays of the first half of the race Okay, here's the first of the replays then, so we're on board with Will, and now watch what happens here now into this next corner. So watch Red Bull, we're going to go into the corner, and Will completely misses his breaking point, slides sideways, bang! Hits Red Bull round, and then they both go round. Luckily, T.Y. and Z just get through, but Will clearly there hitting Red Bull off, and he does wait for him and let him go, and he sacrifices his own little, little bit there. And now here's the replay of what happened to Intrepid then on lap four, going into the uh, the, the hard right-hander, going up the sort of slight gradient. He goes over the jump, brakes very late, too late, shuts the car sideways, trying it into the corner, hits the rear end on the wall, and then everyone else is like, "Oh my word, what's happening here?" And then they all resume party. And now back to the race. And as you come back from that, we come back to Bits just sliding his way through the corner, and he'll fire it behind. Rodders third, Keith in a good fourth at the minute, good consistent points for him. 
Now we've got Intrepid in fifth. And he's gone very wide in his left. C1 go through. TY almost takes advantage as well. Intrepid letting the car go quite wild there and quite wide. As he almost hits the back bumper of C1's car. Incredible there. As in the background we see Will really sliding that car out. So, uh, yeah. Looks quite look, looks good, but it's not quick as TY goes over the jump with Intrepid and uh, just goes a bit wide, but he's okay. Gets away with it as we go over the jumps, hopping in the air. Got to break while the car's in the air here. Break. Look, wheels are going slow when they hit the dirt. Puts the car out into a bit of a slide. Oh, seat one's gone off. Major off there for seat one. Everyone else reacts. And uh, uh, TY loses a bit of speed there, but seat one. Probably gone in too hot there as well, and he goes off, and we'll get that in the montage replays at the end as well. Seat one mistake there on lap five, and we'll get that in at the end. Intrepid goes wide, TY keeping his nose on the inside, trying to get through. Intrepid gives him space, TY goes through, just cuts in front, and Red Bull now having to go at Intrepid with his line compromise. Going to the inside, Intrepid goes wide into the wall, and Red Bull with a nice move there goes through on the inside. Good job here from Red Bull, he's quite good on the dirt, he's proven himself to be quite the, quite the rally cross man. As we go into the up, uphill right-hander and then it leads into this horrible bump you'll see here from TY's car. There, boom. Bump, brake, turn, slide, and hope you don't hit the wall. And TY just avoids the wall, but Red Bull then he's going to try and go through on the inside but can't do it. Meanwhile, the leaders are very close together still. Bidster and Neil have not left each other alone. All race. Absolutely brilliant here at Colorado Springs. And he Neil's learned Bidster's line now. He's learned the line and he's catching up to Bidster. He's not letting him out of his sight. Fastest lap of the race to 132.4, but 132.8 for Neil on lap uh, five. So he's catching up to Bidster there, but Bidster takes a good line through that corner and propels himself out, but he hits the wall there. That's not going to help, but Neil did the same thing. So they're copying each other now. Rodders, go, Rodders goes very wide into that corner there and loses a lot of time. That could help Keith if Keith gets through here nicely, which he does. TY runs wide now and almost hits the wall. Everyone gambling with that wall on the outside there. There goes Intrepid and Seat 1 and Will quite close at the back as well. So we've got battles all the way down this field. Absolutely amazing stuff. Intrepid, a little bit of a mistake there. Starts to get a bit rusty and go wide. He's held it okay as we go out the corner. Will having a little look at seat one down the inside. Can he do it? Can he get the car alongside enough? No, he can't. Seat one's going to hold on here as Will has again has a look at the inside, but no way through. Will he ever go into turn one? Again, no way through, but Intrepid sliding the car, running wide. That's going to slow seat one up. That might help Will. He's trying to get alongside him. He is alongside him. Going for the switch back. And no way through there. Us. Oh, we've got a car massively sideways. TY's off again. He's lost control of the car. And uh, he's gone off. He must have got past the others, but uh, he's gone off there and uh, down to sixth place now. So Keith back up the fourth. Red Bull fifth. TY down to sixth. Did a very good lap the last time around, but he can't get consistent with this car at all. Intrepid there in seventh. Seat one eighth still. Will losing touch in ninth. Up over the jump. Swap direction. Good little bits of racing this, very different to what we usually do here in LPB racing, uh, doing the dirt stuff, but it's good to do have a, have a season that's different, it's good to be different sometimes. Let's go over the jump, Intrepid over the jump, seat one following him. Gets a good run, he's trying to do a switch back, up the hill. Little look to TY and he's no he's alright, Intrepid and seat one then to want the one to watch. Into this corner, Intrepid's on the inside, he's got to slide the car to get it slowed down, but that's too much speed, surely. Yeah, bang, TY's off as well, TY's gone off as well, they're both backwards, Will's going through as well, TY needs to get the car turned around and so does Will, they do it in, oh sorry, and so does Intrepid, they do it in unison, and Intrepid gets going first, TY then, a massive mistake there and down to ninth, not enjoying this car one bit. So let's recap then, Bidster in front, he's leading the race. With Neil Farmack right on his tail still, not leaving him alone. 132.9 last time, 34 for bid, so a little mistake there from the reigning champion Bidster, the winner of the Group C Championship last time. Only just from TY, but uh, went down to the last race of the season, which was good, but Neil Farmack then going faster this time, really getting the hang of this car. Bidster sliding the car through the corner, and Neil Farmack a lot tidier, but a bit more wider out the corners. Rodders third, we've got Red Bull in fourth, and we've got Keith in fifth, good fifth place for him, so he's been passed by Red Bull, but he's still holding fifth, good position for him. C1 in sixth, but Will seventh. Remember the top five running weight in this, so that's, Keith, so that's Vince Daniel, Rodders, Keith and Red Bull all running weight, the rest are weight free. So Keith doing well with the fifth, with the uh, fourth place weight in fifth place. 
back to Seek and Will together into the next corner, slide the car in and then straighten it up for the jump. Nicely done there by both drivers. A bit tighter over the jump, Seek one, but Will a bit more speed up the hill. That could make the difference. Up over the top, Will's getting very close now, he's going down the inside, he's having a look down the inside and Seat 1 gets scared and goes into the wall, Will goes through but then he goes wide as well, side by side out the corner now, who can recover first, Sutton side by side down to the next few corners and Will just holds on, so they both made mistakes there, luckily for Will, Seat followed him but uh, yeah, both made mistakes and both carried on, further back, Intrepid and TY now will have a little battle for 8th place, Intrepid trying to keep TY back, God is then third, so last lap of this race now. Be losing track of the laps, it's been that entertaining. But Bidster in the lead then. 132.8 last time round, 32.5 for Neil. He's on it, he's not letting him get away. Rod is in third, he's now under pressure from Red Bull. Fastest lap of the race, 132.1. Gives Rod a little tap there and lets him go wide. And now, was that a tap into the wall? He's got to be careful. He's got to be careful here, that could have been a, a tap to pass. But no, he lets him go back through, so he's sensible there, so he did realise what he did. But now Rodders goes wide of his own accord, and Red Bull goes on the inside. Rodders and, Rodders and uh, Red Bull side by side. Oh, together. And they just get through the corner and out of it the other side. And these two are teammates, you wouldn't think so. But absolutely, these two are absolute teammates here. But Rodders and uh, Red Bull over the top of the hill. And out the other side, Neil Farmack and Bids are still very close towards the end of the lap. Bids needs to hold on here. Can Neil Farmack charge at this last corner? Bids are going very wide there with the drift, but then he's going to try and get the car turned in into the last corner, get the power on up the hill. And it's going to be Bidster who wins race two here. Two in a row for Bidster in the opening round of the championship. Bidster, two races in a row. Well done to Bids. Neil Farmack second, we've still got race three and four to go around the opposite way around this track, so don't forget about that guys. Red Bull's gonna take third from Rodders, so third for Red Bull, good third for him. Well done for him, and Rodders, well and truly putting his place within his team in fourth. Fifth for Keith, good position for him for BB Racing, his teammate winning the race, well done to Keith. Will is gonna be in sixth with seat one in seventh, so good recovery drive there for Will. Intrepid is just going to hold on from TY as we go over to the line. And then we go to the line there and Intrepid finishes and TY is just behind. So guys, we'll just go and get those, uh, those second half of the race replays in for you first. Here's the replays of the second half of the race. Okay, here's the first of the second half of the race replays then. So watching seat one, same place as what well, uh, Intrepid did this earlier. As we go down to the right hand as he breaks over the ridge but then breaks again and just hits the bump there, way too fast, bang and then hits the tyre wall, strings back out and then bang, Intrepid hits him as well, Red Bull and TY go through and seeks down to eight. Okay guys and now we look at a replay of TY on lap seven to see what happened to him, for him to go down the order a little bit, so over the jump, breaks sideways, sideways too early, trying to recover it, and just runs out of room, hits that gate there, and then Keith and Red Bull slide through, and TY rejoins in a sixth place. Okay now here's a look at the spins and crashes with TY and Intrepid then in, on lap seven into that famous corner down the hill, T.Y. goes into the corner, hops over and just catches the tail on the way out, too much for him and Intrepid does the same thing, exactly the same thing, they both spin round, Will lucky that the car's ghosted there and then both cars are going to turn each other round, Intrepid gets going first and T.Y. has to do a more or less a three point turn and then get going. And now straight to the results. Here's the results then from race two, it's Bidster who wins again, well done to Bidster, two in a row for him. Second is Neil Farmack, three tenths behind him. Red Bull takes third position, a good podium for him. Rodders in fourth. Keith in fifth. We've got Will finishing in sixth. Uh, seat one down in seventh. Intrepid in eighth. And TY unluckily at the back again, not having the best of luck in this car, so hopefully looking for more in the next race. Red Bull with the fastest lap of the race then on a 132.1. As we come back from, from the results, guys, there is your winner, Bidster, in the blue Subaru there. Well done to Bidster, closely followed by Neil Farmack in second. So good win for Bidster. He wins two out of the first four races of this opening round. So well done to him. And we will see you guys next time for race three, which will be quite different because it will be the reverse layout of this track. And we'll, we will be in something, let's say, much bigger. 
We'll see you then that. We'll see you for that one, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching another race by LPB Racing. Hope you all enjoyed that one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave your comments down below. And next time it's race three in pickup trucks on the reverse layout.